were reading a lot of books about injustice and we wanted to make a change in our community around us. What began as a summer book club for this group of Royal Oak middle schoolers quickly turned into a mission to protect endangered bees. This group now goes by the bee tweens. Oh, I thought bees were dangerous and like they could sting me, but actually they're so important and, and without them we could have a tough time surviving. We never really were taught that like if bees disappeared, all of our flowers would disappear and so much food would disappear from what we've gotten due to their pollinating. I I think the de decline in environment just in general has stopped many pollinating uh, good plants for pollinators in general, which makes it hard for bees to survive because their food source is dying out. The bee tweens may be young, but they aren't afraid to educate the generations who came before them. I've just been really happy and excited that we're going to be able to have a slightly more environment friendly kind of town and I'm really excited for that. Last week, the advocates presented in front of the Royal Oak City Commissioners to raise awareness. In response, the commission voted to allow homeowners to participate in No Mow May. For the next few weeks, folks can hold off on cutting their grass and they don't have to worry about dandelions. As bees transition into the spring and summer months, Dandelions are a super, dandelions and other flowers are a great source of pollination in those early transitioning. We had talked about doing this next year, to be honest, and it wasn't until I found out from code enforcement that all they needed was the word from us. We didn't have to change the ordinance. The quick action was more than the teens could have hoped for. Now Royal Oakers can stop by City Hall to pick up a yard sign. I'm so excited about it. Now I know the city of Ann Arbor did it, and we're always happy to copy good ideas coming out of Ann Arbor or any place. And I I think this is great. And if folks already cut their grass, it's important that if you're not able to plant native plants and you're not able to physically do something to spread the word because that's just as important as taking action. If you want to participate, you can pick up a sign. They are available here at City Hall for $5. The proceeds go towards supporting other of the Betweens initiatives. I'm Veronica Meadows, Fox 2 News. These smart kids there.